Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mezon African Motives, uh, still working on mathematics and five that is uh, working on our derivatives, that is uh, differentiation. Uh, we are going to be focusing on the applications of differentiation in this case, which is the application of the Taylor method or the use of the Newton's uh, method in this case. All right, so before we check these uh, questions that we are going to be focusing with, uh, let us just have a basic of what is it that we are talking about uh, if we are referring to the Newton's method uh, or the Newton's rule. So you can have this as the Newton's rule, which is uh, referred to as the Taylor's uh, method in this case. All right, this uh, method that we are talking about here is just uh, a pro in, an approximation that is uh, happening. Uh, remember, if you are given a graph, let us just say we've got a graph that we yeah, that is being drawn in this case, having our y-axis and our x-axis. We can have the solutions of this graph, exact values of our solution. Then we can have a condition again, whereby we still have a same function. Let us consider our x and y like this again. From a certain function like this, let us say this is a, a certain function that we have. Also, we can have this solution obtained to say what is the value of this solution. But on a condition that we do not want to draw the graph and we are given an approximation value, we can have the solutions uh, by approximation, not by drawing the graph, but by approximation. So in this case, we are simply saying uh, the Taylor's method at the end can, uh, is actually used to determine. So it is used to determine a better uh, solution in this case, which is a better approximate. It's not an exact value, this one. It's an approximate uh, solution in this case. When we are referring to a solution, we are referring to the roots of the, uh, 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 of the given function. All right, so if you are talking about two values, one value, but here you'll be referring to a one value like a function of this nature. All right, so what does it state and what is it about uh, the Newton's method that uh, we are given? It follows that if we are given uh, 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 the first solution, let's say uh, given uh, the, 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 the approximate, like uh, we are given uh, the first value that we are given maybe uh, we can just refer to as x1, you'll be given this value. So it's, an, uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a root that you'll be given, uh, which is close like this one, it's close to. So we just give it a certain root that is close to the value, all right? So given uh, the approximate, uh, approximate value, all right? Sorry for that, for the delay of answering the question. All right, uh, given the approximate value of, uh, let's take it as x naught. All right. So you'll be given this as your approximate value to say, let us approximately have a solution as. Then using the Taylor's method, you shall use this obtaining a better solution as you go. So it follows that, all right? So it follows uh, that x1, which is the first solution that you're going to obtain after, which is now our second solution. Here we are just given this, we're just gonna refer as our first. The second solution that you are now given on your calculations from the one that you are given now, but referred to as the first solution. So take note, this is just an approximated value, but this becomes our first value in calculation. So the first value that we are calculating should be equal to X naught, which is the approximated value minus F of X naught. Remember, we are talking about a certain function of y is equal to f of x in this case. All right, over the first derivative of uh, x naught in this case, all right? That is what you're going to have. So this here, we are having the first derivative. So meaning to say, you'll be having your f of x. From your f of x, you substitute x naught from there. In order for you to, uh, to have this, we are going to find the first derivative of x. Then we substitute x naught, which is the uh, the approximate solution. So it follows that this is going to go, this is going to, uh, until until uh, you are given. So that's why you'll be given to say uh, use these two times 
or use it once, you, it depends with the question. So it follows that at the end, we can simply say uh, thus x. If we say this is one, this was zero, this was zero, this was zero, but here we are finding one. So we are simply saying x of n plus one is equal to x n minus f of uh, x n all over the first derivative of uh, that x n, whereby x n is the approximate value that you are given in that condition. So that's our Taylor's method, guys. Quickly like that, we, we can obtain whatever that we want. So here we are given on our first equation that we are going to attempt one root of the equation, this uh, of the equation, this is our equation. From this equation, we have our f of x. So this is the function representing your f of x is close to, so that's an approximate value. So we are saying from our f of x, which is given as uh, x cubed minus x squared plus x plus one, the approximated value at that moment, x naught is negative one comma six. Use the Taylor or Newton's method twice, take note how many times, two times to determine a better approximation from what we are given of this root a better up of this root, this root that was approximated. We want something that is better to that round correct to three decimal places, your answers. All right. So as we saw from our formula, remember we are going to apply this uh, Newton's Raphson uh, method uh, twice in this case, or the, uh, the Taylor's method twice, given an approximated value of negative 0, or negative 1, 6. Remember what I said, x1, from our x naught is going to be given as x naught minus f of x naught in this case, everything over the first derivative of our x naught is uh, as that. So meaning to say in this consideration that we have from our f of x, we are going to simply substitute our x naught as it is. So we are given here that our x naught is negative one comma six. So meaning to say our f of x naught, which is negative one comma six. So let me, okay, let me just write negative one comma six here. This negative one comma six is our first value that we are having here, approximated value. That means we are going to substitute into our f of x, wherever there is x, you are supposed to substitute negative one comma six, wherever there is x. So this is going to be negative one comma six to the exponent of three minus x squared, that is minus one comma six to the exponent of two uh, plus negative one comma six plus one like this, you obtain the festive, the value for f of what? Negative one comma six, which is our x naught in this case. So this is going to give us an approximated like uh, negative uh, two comma five, six, remember to three decimal places as we are given we have this value that is representing our f of x naught, but we need the first derivative now. So that means we are going back in this case from our f of x, we need its derivative, the derivative of this with respect to x, that is we are back again, no more derivative. This is going to give us three x squared, uh, negative two x in this case. Uh, then on this plus is same as plus one x, so it is going to be a plus one. So this is our first derivative. From your first derivative, you are supposed to uh, now find f of what? f of x naught in this case, which is a uh, negative uh, one comma six, the first derivative of this with the uh, x being negative one comma six, you are substituting into the first derivative in place of x. So where there is x, substitute negative one comma six, where there is x, negative one comma six plus one. All right. So that is going to give us uh, the first derivative of this value, uh, which was going to be 11,88, all right? So this one was going to give us direct 11,88, uh, if you want off the three, the small place is given. So now substituting back, we are finding the first approximate value. We are using this for the first time. That is here, we are using our Newton's method for the first time. So x1 is going to be equal to x naught, which is, a value of approximate, the approximated value of negative 1,6 minus the value of uh, f of x naught, which is this one that we substituted when x was what? Negative 1,6, where we got uh, negative 7,256. Everything over the first derivative of x naught, where we substituted here, and we got 11,88. All 
eight, eight in this case. All right, so this is a single term, all right? So this here is simply representing a single term. So you can substitute everything, all these values uh, into your calculator. That is, we are going to obtain a negative 0, 0,9892 and so on. So to three decimal places, we are going to have this as a negative 0, 0,8, uh, negative 0, 0,989, which is to three decimal places. So we have used this method once, all right? That is for the first time. But the question here is we are supposed to use this twice. That is, we need this for the second time. So for the second time, our formula now, we are now calculating X2. So our formula is going to affect now as X2 is going to be equal to, remember I said, if this is X of N plus one, this is going to be Xn minus F of Xn over the first derivative of Xn. Meaning to say, if this is two, you subtract one. So we are going to use F X1 minus f of x1 in this case over the first derivative when x uh, for the first solution where our x1 is uh, this value. So this is what we're going to do. So as you can see here, we already have our x1, which is uh, negative 0, 0,989. So what we are simply going to do is to substitute back just like the previous part, uh, the way that we calculated our f of uh, uh, x not one here. So we are going to find f of negative 0, 0,989, meaning to say in place of f of x, that is where you are substituting, the, in place of f of it, that just like this part. So we're just substituting here, we're just replacing this with a negative 0, 0,9. All right, so here I'm not gonna substitute guys, but what I'm simply saying, do this in place of this value that you see here, now you are substituting negative 0, 0,989. So you are going to obtain uh, negative 1, 934 uh, in this case. All right, the same thing with the first derivative, all right? We are going to need for the first derivative whereby our x is negative 0, 0,989. You are not differentiating again, no. Already you have your first derivative here. You are simply substituting back just like what we did here. So in place of negative 1, 6, this time we are going to put negative 0, 0,989. So this one was going to give us something like 5,912. All right, so with the value that we have obtained, this is the one now that we are going to use to find the, uh, the approximate value for the second time, where we said x1, where x1 is this value that we obtained negative 0, 0,989 minus f of x1, all right? So f of x1, uh, when we substituted here f of x1, this value of x, we got uh, negative 1, comma, na, uh, negative 1, 934, everything over f, the first derivative. All right, the first derivative here, we got uh, 5, comma, 912. So this is going to give us uh, a better approximation when we, we have simplified. But for the second time, remember they said twice, so you are supposed to end it there. So use a calculator, simplify this value, you're going to obtain negative 0, 0,66186 and so on, which is going to change into a two. Remember we are given our answers, they're supposed to be given to three uh, decimal places. All right, so that is we have used our Newton's uh, Raphson method. Uh, that is their Taylor's method twice in this case. So these are the stages that you can also work on your calculator, try it also to play around with your calculator to, or to simplify this part. All right, so let us check the other part again, just to finish up here. We are now given another part, which is the exactly the same as the previous part where we have got our f of x, in this case, given as a 7x cubed minus 8x minus four, and uh, the one root that is close to negative one, use this, value and one approximation of Taylor's new, okay, one approximation. So we are just doing this once. Remember our condition, we said uh, we're gonna have our X naught from this value, which is negative one. Then our F of X, which is the function that we are given here of seven X cubed minus eight X plus four. So we are supposed to use this once and use our answer to three decimal places, remember? Guys, the concept does not even change.
that uh, x1, which is our first solution, is supposed to be equivalent to x0 minus f of x0 in this case over the first derivative of uh, x0 in this case, whereby we have our f of x here. So you can simply substitute our x0, which is negative one. So f of negative one in place of x, that will be seven times negative one uh, cubed minus eight into negative one plus four like this. All right, so that was going to give us f of negative one, which is five. With the same concept, but now we need the first derivative. So from this part, we are going to determine the first derivative with respect to x from our f of x here. So that is gonna be seven times three, three times seven there, which is 21 x squared to subtract one. So that will be 21 x squared. Then here I've got a linear expression. So you're gonna have negative eight, a constant that's a zero there. So now we can substitute the value of x, which is our x naught in this case of negative one. So that's, we have the first derivative. If x is what? If x is negative one. And uh, that was going to give us uh, in this case, 13. So with these values, guys, we are done. We have this value. And we also have this value represented on our formula. So we can simply substitute back to say our x1 is going to be x0, which is the first value, the solution, the approximated value that you are given of negative one minus f of x0, which is uh, f of negative one, which, is, which gave us five. And the first derivative of x0, which gave us 13 in this case. So this was uh, what we were supposed to have at the end. And uh, having our answer as a decimal, since we are told to three decimal places, uh, give your answer as a decimal, you're going to obtain negative one comma uh, three, eight, uh, four, six, one, five, and so on. So to one, uh, to three decimal places as per given instruction, that was going to give us negative one comma one, two, three. So this was going to change into a five, which is three, eight, uh, five in this case. All right, so that's how we apply our uh, Newton's method, our Taylor's method. So let us try by all means to revise as much questions as possible. Uh, you can actually have this all three marks or four marks depending with the question that you'll be given. So these are not marks that you can just leave in exam. You can actually obtain these all marks. Okay, for now guys, that's it from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.